Uh, Y'all, this is completely unexpected. 1,000% unexpected. Something just showed up. I was not expecting to have show up for quite some time this morning. Goose here. 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 Uh, but it's here. So this is crazy. The skid steer is here, y'all. Goose here. Here. Load up. So I'm going to run out there. I think I got to still pay for this thing. Uh, you guys know we've been sick the last couple of days. So Marcy actually took the boys this morning and I was here taking a nap, but here it is. Welcome back everybody to the Eldridge fam. I am Marcy. This is vlog like 52 yeah, of our daily vlogs. Maverick's a little bit under, I mean, he's still under the weather. We've been doing breathing treatments with him, trying to get him to breathe good. <sighs> Goosey's sitting in front of the car. Goosey, move. My goodness, doggy. There we go. Um, but Mavi's still pretty sick. Um, Harvey? Harv, how you doing, honey? Oh, yeah, he's, he's doing good. He's so cute. Pax, go. what about you? Pax just has snot all over his face. So, um, luckily the feed store is awesome and they just load everything up for me and I don't have to do anything, which is great. And, you know, the kids aren't touching the tunnel and stuff. Yeah. So, we're going to go get Pax and Space cleaned up um, and stay away from people today. I actually do have to go get gas. So I'm going to see if Colonel wants me to fill up right now, like leave the kids all in the car and go do gas right now. We'll see. I didn't even realize you were there or not there. Or <laughs> That's funny. I love. Are my kids asleep? No. Oh, Pat. I know he looks so sick. So huh? sick. <laughs> Mammy, <laughs> it, it took Mav like... 45 seconds to find the skid steer. We were parked right, right next to it. And he's like, I don't see it. 
<laughs> I'm like, let me back up Maybe and see. we got a new toy. Well, we're borrowing a toy. Are you excited? It's a skid steer. Sing us the skid steer song. Hello, Tina. You don't want to <laughs> sing it. Hello. Okay, Mavi, are you ready? Do you know what the GoPro is? No, I don't. Mav and I have been practicing something. Let's see if he does it. Love, are you feeling stressed? I'm stressed. Huh? Don't freak out. Don't freak out? Don't be stressed. Don't be stressed to figure out conversation that I don't want You're cute. So I've been teaching them that if somebody says, um, oh, I'm stressed, he, he's supposed to say, don't be stressed, it's going to get figured out. <laughs> so, That's cute. Yeah, good job. I love you. I'll tell y'all what, sometimes it just doesn't seem like we ever catch a break. <laughs> and sometimes I think I'm go, go, go way too much. But here we are, we're go, go, going. Uh, yeah, wow. So I called the pay for the skid steer. We originally had planned on renting it for two days. So today's Tuesday. So we would have it uh, Wednesday. And then it would, wait, we'd have it basically all day today, all day Tuesday. Sorry, wow, my brain is like still not completely functioning 100%. I'm feeling better, but my head is definitely cloudy. And I cannot find the lid to the blender. Uh, anyhow, we originally had it planned for two days. It was like $300 more to do it for a week. And we would get it for seven days instead of two days. So I was like, man, it's a little bit more money and I can have it for a week and I don't have to stress about getting done what I want to get done in the next two days. I can kind of drag it out. I was like, we're just gonna do it. So we're doing it. We got it for a week. Y'all, this is exactly what happened last time. Last time we were like, we'll have it for a week. And then we ended up renting it for a month. Marcy says she's okay with it as long as we don't end up renting it for a month, which I obviously, I could find a month worth of work to do with it, but I don't have a month worth of work to do with it, if that makes sense. So, yeah, we get it for a week, which is going to be some awesome content for y'all. Uh, I just talked to the shipping container guy, uh, the guy that we got the shipping containers from. He's going to be bringing that tomorrow morning around 10 o'clock. So we're going to be going out there this morning and getting our shop pad prepped and ready, leveled, graded, everything like that that we can to make sure that it is just perfect and ready for the uh, shipping containers to get placed. I've never met a kid so excited. I go, how are you feeling? And he says, eh, a little bit better. I go, yeah, I'm still a little bit sick too. But he goes, but we can still ride that skid steer. And I said, well, yeah, we can. Thankfully, you know, you just sit there. Same as sitting on the couch watching TV, but the TV is outdoors. <clears throat> can you find a shirt? Nice. Actually, I don't like that shirt, kind of. What? <laughs> hey, grab that blue one. That's just like mine. Yeah, we're matching. Yeah. That one's dark blue. But this one's light blue. Mine's light blue. Oh, I, yours is light blue too. No, no, no. <laughs> we're gonna, we, so what the plan is, is you're gonna ride on the skid steer with me for a little bit, and then you're gonna come inside and take a nap. Okay? Uh because we're still sick, so we got to take it easy. We can't we can't do too much, otherwise we'll get so sick again. And that'd be bad. Okay, now Sucks. I can... Oh yeah, I want to get them. <laughs> Why have you got new socks? Yeah, maybe we got new socks. Yeah, all of them we got holes in them. Yeah. From the locks. And then I want my charge, but I hate my charge. Oh look, there are two of them in there. Are they out there? I found one. One boots. Where's your cow boots? Go look in your butt basket.
This is the happiest I've seen him in a while. And we've got some major progress, major pro we've got some major projects that we're gonna show you all about that we haven't told you about yet. Woo! So. What'd you get? Look what daddy's wearing. Man, we are matching today. Yeah. Switch foot. Uh, nope. No, yes. No, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hurt, and it would like it hurt me like it was too tight. Ready, Freddy? Yep. You stick your so far. We are hurting a lot. There's my dirt bike truck we're going to leave tomorrow. Yeah, we got to rebuild your dirt bike track, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Really well over there. What you can see behind me is the home of the future Edge Moto shop. We're going to be building our shop right here behind us using shipping containers and uh, trying a new process that I've never tried before. And today the main objective is to get the shop pad built. So we're going to be setting two containers on the shop pad. So we got to make sure we get it perfectly leveled. I don't know exactly how I'm going to get it perfectly leveled yet, but y'all will find out in this video. But it's going to go from about where Maverick is at to just the other side of this berm. It's going to be, let's see, 30, 40, 50, 50 feet wide and 45 feet long. And we got a big tree in the way. This giant cedar tree is getting chopped down. You can see we got power lines right here. So I've got to get the skid steer and push it over away from uh, the power lines because that could be really bad. So we're excited to be able to get after this and uh, we will show y'all what the process is to this. We just got the skid steer dropped off, as y'all know. And we're gonna get right after it and get this thing cleaned up and prepped. This kid is beyond excited. Those are our new flower beds. I know you didn't even see those yet, huh? Yeah, those are new flower beds, or for a garden. New garden boxes. We gotta fill them full of dirt. Tomorrow, today. Yeah, we gotta put more dirt in there. Looks pretty good. Yeah, this is really bad. Whoa! It's a big bucket. It's a big bucket. Okay, climb up there. I'm gonna go around, take a video of this whole thing for uh, insurance policy. That way, if I. Uh, if they say I broke something, I'll have a video of it to say, oh, yep, I did, or nope, I didn't. <laughs> Ooh, kind of wet. You put that wood button. He knows how to run this whole thing, don't you? <laughs> 2,330.5 hours. No, it's not that one. What button is it? This is crazy. I can't believe we're doing this. So the first thing we got to do is site preparation. So like I said, we got to get rid of, we got to get rid of this chicken coop cage thing. It's pretty much trash. I'm going to try and save it as much as I can, but I'm not really trying to save it. And we got to get this tree out. And that will make it so we can actually do the dirt work right here. Yes, ma'am. We got to save this for the baby ducks. For the baby ducks? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that.
Well, that's already looking a whole lot better. Yeah. Just clearing up the bottom of this tree. I should have done that forever ago. I'm going to have to do it with this tree, too. Clean that up. Clean that edge up. Yeah, we did. Yeah. So I think what the plan is now is to... Yeah, well, Maverick knows. So I, we're good as far as the power lines go. If we can get that tree to fall any way that direction, we'll be fine. The problem I see with it is it is split right here. So actually, if I can come and cut these, this limb and this limb off and just have them drop, then I can cut the stump right here because those are really the only branches that go up. And then pick them up. With your dump truck? Yeah. That tree might be too big for your dump truck, bud. No, you're just cutting little pieces. Oh. All right, well, let's go get a ladder and a chainsaw. So I'm going to get the skid steer, put a little bit of pressure on it, and then cut the back. Make sure it falls that way. The last thing I want is it to fall on these power lines. So I'm going to make sure no matter what, it's just going the opposite direction. <laughs> The boys are down eating, so now Marcy's turn to come and take a look at the work we got done so far. Clean that lens off. There we go. That's better. It looks so much bigger, doesn't it? Yeah. It's, it is. It's twice as big. I really am going to come through and cut all of these limbs, just the yeah, branches like that are hanging lines. down. Yeah. So we raise up. Same with this one. I think if we opened up, and then like that, where that cedar tree and stuff is right there, in this side, mm -hmm. we're gonna push that out, open that up. But won't you just see down <clears> that <throat> thing? Like, I like that you don't see down the whole row. No, you won't. Okay. You might see a little bit more, but. 
Yeah, it looks so much better with that tree gone. It was a gigantic you tree. You hated that tree? You hated that tree the whole time we've lived here. Yeah. He just doesn't like cedar trees. Yeah, they're invasive. You can still like something that's invasive. It literally gained us like all of this space right here. Because that tree came out to right here where we're standing. Which is crazy. Yeah. Crazy, crazy. So I'm trying to get the stump out. Once I get the stump out, then we'll be able to actually start leveling. Okay. But yeah, made some really good progress. And so this one, is this going to get cut? Yeah, I'm going to take that out. Okay. Push it back That'll a little bit. Good. And how far back are you going? With what? How much further back? Is that as well, far back? Well, that's as far back. That's all a ditch right there. So I'm hoping, I got to pull those tree branches out of there and do something with them. I got to burn them or something. I don't know. Uh, but the back of the shop will hopefully be like between the skid steer and the ditch, the pile of trees. You found a bumper juice? Yeah, in the pond. It's drying up, so you could actually find it. You're going to find like five of them. Well, I can see the bottom of the top. Or is that just moss? That's just moss. Oh, oh Kevin, it looks awesome. Yep. You really ruined our property, which is nice. No, I don't think we'll really will. Good. Keep it looking good. Yeah. Semi good. I mean, I guess we are moving the dirt bike track to like right here. Because it, it's Garden Dirt Bike Track Road, right? We have talked about it. Well, that's what we had talked about. I know. We, I really need to see this flat with the two things <coughs> in place. And or then move. Side. Well, yeah, that's true. I guess we can do that. He's coming tomorrow at 10. Okay. I was going to tell him you should have him come later if you're not ready. Because now you have it for a week. Yeah. I hope to get it ready tonight. Get the laser tonight when it gets dark and laser level it and yeah. everything. Yeah, I, I, all we, we just need to come cut back these branches, raise this up, and then it will look like a big cohesive space. Right now it doesn't. Boys, it's nap time. You gotta take a good nap because you're all so sick. Synchronized bouncing. Mama's getting your bottles, Kay. Go get in your bed, Harvey. Good night, boys. Looks like we got the goats checking out the construction work over here. Hi, goats. Y'all just trying to figure out what's going on? Yeah, so am I. So this stump has proven to be a quite a bit of a challenge here. I've dug out maybe a foot and a half or so around it. You can see down about a foot and a half down. Whoa, zoom out there. So I'm gonna just keep going at it. I think this is gonna be the best way to get it out because we're gonna bring the pad and level it. And this will probably get buried, um, but we wanna try and get out as much of the stump as possible. hole back in and get this shop pad laid out leveled out measured out time for the dirt work it is dusty out here we haven't had a good rain for i don't know three or four months which i'm surprised that even at the bottom of the tree it was still dusty and dry uh it just shows you how uh how dry it is out here right now but uh, now that i got this i am i'm gonna come out here we're gonna bust down this berm and uh, get the uh, new shop pad started. 
I can't believe I got that stump out. I honestly, I didn't have much hope for it, but I just kept digging and digging and digging and digging until it finally decided to give out. And uh, these little skid steers, this is a 75, are pretty good workhorses. Whenever the day comes when I can afford one, that's what I'm gonna buy is a 75, just like that. The twins are asleep. I just help Harvey for a little bit. And it's like one of my favorite things to do. I don't really ever get to do it. But I got to hold him for a minute while he falls asleep. Um, Maverick is playing under his bed, which I don't really know. Wow! Guys, it looks it's so different. Oh my gosh, it's going to look so good. Let me show you guys. All right, in here. He got rid of that berm on the end. It just like weirdly opened it up. I mean, obviously it opened it up, but it's gonna look so good. I'm so excited. I know he's so excited to get it done. Um, I'm just gonna go check with Crandall, see what the plan is for the rest of the day. Um, and then finish getting ready because I haven't really got ready yet. All right, y'all. Well, we got a couple hours into it. You can see we've got a decent shot pad here. I've got to add some more dirt and stuff like that, but I got to get the level out, the tape measure. I'm completely covered in dirt, I'm sure. But it looks pretty dang good from what I can tell. I've got to get the laser out. We're going to laser level it, get it as close as we can, and then tomorrow when he drops off the container, I've got some blocks and stuff like that that we'll end up setting it on, getting it all perfectly leveled out. It's going to be a container here, a container here, and then we're going to concrete in between the two containers, which will give us a roughly... 40 by 50 foot shop. Crandall just made his entry back into the house. Um, Might be a little dirty. Are you going back out or are you staying in here for a while? I gotta head up for a little bit. Then you need to change. What? Turn around, love. Yeah, you need to change. You're not walking around the house in that. <sighs> Crandall hates changing his clothes up through the day. Because he's like, I just wasted clothes. Which shouldn't even matter to him. Because I'm the one who does laundry. But he is so dirty. Hey, honey. Hi, honey. How are you? Good. Well, y'all, we are just getting started out here on this massive new project. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss tomorrow when we get the shipping containers delivered and put in place. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up here. Thanks so much for watching. I'm going to show you all the next steps, which is going to be actually getting this zeroed out with the laser level, getting it all laid out, and then getting the shipping containers placed. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see y'all tomorrow.